good morning dear students so we are reading chapter 3 deep water so we continue with this point yesterday we stopped over here when uh, second time he was going down and making his planning to come out of the water like uh, he will come on the surface then he will lie down flat and he will pedal then he will come to the edge of the pool likewise so here next one i stuck at the water as i went down now second time he is getting down to the bottom of the pool expanding my strength whatever the power or physical strength he has as one in a nightmare see it is a very bad thing nightmare bad dream simply you can say he was uh, thinking that he was uh, taking a night dream in which he used his expanding his whole strength to uh, as he was stuck to the water nightmare flights in an irresistible force irresistible force refers to phobia hydrophobia i had lost all my breath then he felt that he lost his breath or uh, simply because of consciousness my lungs ached my head throbbed see these are the changes that are taking place while getting down to the bottom of the pool i was getting dizzy but i remember the strategy see dear students uh, as he getting down to the bottom of the pool he did not remember anything okay and he felt that all the body parts like lungs head and the complete body was not responding him properly and still he remembered the strategy strategy means planning and what was the planning to come on the surface to lie down flat and then start paddling and come to the edge of the pool that was the strategy i would spring from the bottom of the pool again he think that he will he would come to the um, bottom and come like a cork of the surface like a cork ball on the surface i would lie flat on the water strike out with my arms and thrust with my legs like paddling then i would get to the edge of the pool and be safe this is the strategy that second time he tells us then i went down down endlessly now it was nine feet and it seems that he was going down 90 feet i opened my eyes what could he see nothing but water with a yellow glow only yellow water dark water that one could not see through he could see what only water and that water was yellow and uh, through this water nobody can see and then seed stark terror see these are the words to show the terror seed stark terror seized me then he felt that that hard and fast an uncontrollable un uncontrollable terror comes to him and seized him grabbed him terror that no one understanding terror that knows no understanding sorry terror he defines phobia like it was a terror that does not understand that does not know any kind of understanding terror that knows no control a terror that is uncontrollable terror that no one can understand and this is the terror that nobody in on this earth can understand who has not experienced it means the person who does not uh, who has not experienced cannot understand this fear this kind of fear william douglas had okay i was shrieking underwater gradually he was getting down i was paralyzed he has used this word again paralyzed what part of his body legs underwater stiff rigid with fear he became unmovable hard with that fear even the screams in my throat if he tried to shout out or scream out were frozen he felt that his throat is frozen only my heart and the pounding in my head only two things heart and hand they 
convey that he was alive said that i was still alive his legs his arms his head and the complete body was dizzy only his head and heart messaged him that he was alive okay so dear students this is the you know experience that he shares with us what kind of experience he got when he was being thrown into the pool by a by an 18 years boy and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason he was getting down suddenly he uh, came to a touch of reason i must remember to jump what it was strategy i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom it was his planning as he uh, goes to the bottom he will hit back at last i felt the tiles under me lastly he reached at the bottom my toes reached out as if to grab them his toes touch the bottom i jumped with everything i had everything i had refers to the strength the physical power that he had in his body but the jump made no difference he made the jump but this jump was not so fruitful the water was still around me even even he could not come out of the water properly i looked for ropes he searched for rope ladders water wings these are the you know uh, you can say for uh, for this time you can see these are the lifelines for uh, for william douglas he says for water uh, wings he says for ladders and ropes but nothing but water what he grabbed only water a mass of yellow water held me then he felt that a mass of yellow water was around him stark terror phobia took an even deeper hold on me and he felt that this terror was grabbing him more tightly like a great charge of electricity see similarity like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright he was shocked tremb trembled with fear my arms wouldn't move his arms did not move his arms did not respond my legs would not move his legs was also paralyzed i tried to call for help to call for mother lastly he remember whom mother nothing happened means there was nobody who could who could listen him or you can say who could hear his voice only the water could hear him the hydrophobia could hear him now and then strangely there was light suddenly he felt a light he saw a light coming from somewhere i was coming out of the awful yellow water then he felt that he was coming up at at least my eyes were second time same same thing happened what his eyes came like in first attempt his eyes and mouth his eyes and nose okay came out in the second effort also at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too only two parts of body eyes and nose came out of the water then i started down a third time see this is the third time that william douglas experience is getting down to the bottom and his planning so what uh, happens with him third time let's see i sucked for air he wanted to inhale and got water what he get into his throat water not air the yellowish light was going out there this light this light was this light there was light so this yellow light was going out now then all efforts ceased his means ended all his efforts were ended i relaxed he felt relaxedly relaxed even my legs felt limp even his legs were paralyzed and a blackness swept over my brain now third time he is getting down dear students and his brain did not respond positively a blackness came over his brain it wiped out fear when the blackness comes comes in his brain then the fear was getting out it wiped out terror the fear there was no more panic now he feels relaxed and there was no pain in his mind to come out of the pool because now a blackness comes out of his brain means his brain was somehow getting unconscious his body okay 
it was quiet and peaceful now he surrenders himself to the fear he did not made any effort nothing to be afraid of now he thinks that there is nothing to be afraid of this is nice it is nice what to surrender himself to the phobia to the fear of water to be drowsy to go to sleep to go to sleep means what kind of sleep is it temporary sleep no it is permanent sleep it may happen that he will die no need to jump he surrenders himself and he loses his heart too tired to jump now he got tired by making twice his effort to come out of the water it's nice to be carried gently he thinks that it is very good that somebody takes you away very politely gently to float alone in space tender arms around me whose tender arms these are are these arms of mother no these are the arms of phobia hydrophobia tender arms like mothers and these arms are compared to like mothers now i must go to sleep now he surrenders himself surrenders himself completely to the fear of water and then he said i must go to sleep i cross to oblivion oblivion means a state of mind in which uh, in which a person lacks of consciousness he is not dead he is not alive in in between of the situation and the curtain of life fell it means he became unconscious the next day see this thing happened third time he surrendered himself the next day i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool next day when he came in his consciousness then he found that he was lying beside the pool lying on my stomach okay vomiting because his stomach was full of water so he was vomiting the chap chap means the boy 18 years boy that three me in was saying he was saying that he was but i was only fooling means making fun of him someone said the kid near, nearly died be all right now then the boy who was another boy, who was the boy of that particular person friend you can say he said the kid nearly died but be all right let's carry him to the locker room locker room to for changing for some kind of medical purposes okay then several hours later after uh, a great uh, you can say relax after some hours later i walked home douglas went to home i was weak he was tired and trembling his body was trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed when he lay down on his bed for relax he cried i could not eat that night because he was so tired for days a haunting fear was in my heart for days for some days that unbearable uncontrollable fear was in his heart the slight exertion exertion means tiring effort upset me the slightest exertion upset me that he he felt sad that after doing effort three times he could not come out of the water making me wobbly wobbly means very shaky in the knees and sick to my stomach and then he felt that he that i made so many efforts that i tried to come out of the pool but could not uh, win the fear i never went back to the pool now it is here were declared that he had hydrophobia and he never back he never went back to the pool because he knows very well that what will happen to him i feared water from that day he got fear from water i avoided it whenever i could okay so he was successful in avoiding water whenever he wanted a few days later a few years later sorry a few years later when i came to know that the waters of the cascades i wanted to get into them now he come to know about the cascades of waters and whenever i did whether i was wading the titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the god rocks these are the you know locations bumping rivers okay warm lake all these are the terror that has seized me in the pool would come back and he felt that that old terror would come back it would take possession of me completely then he think that he would uh, this fear will come and he will grab it my legs would become paralyzed the same thing will happen ice horror would grab my heart and he felt that 
if i go to the pool of these other the other body water bodies then obviously this horror this fear would come back and grab his heart completely this handicap see uh, here douglas define it's like a handicap not only fear of water stayed with me as the years rolled by means the year passes on and uh, this handicapness or this fear was with him for many years in canoes canoes means uh, a narrow boat in main lake main lake fishing or landlocked salmon salmon means a type of fish so see this boy douglas had fear of water but apart from this he had a great passion for uh, you can say swimming and boating let's read it bass fishing in new hemisphere in new, in new hemisphere is the water water body he will he wanted to go for fishing over there trout fishing on the deciduous and maltuous in oregon trout fishing fishing for salmon on the columbia at bumping lake in the cascades so he wishes that he would go to the columbia and will do fishing for salmon type of fish okay whenever i went the haunting fear of water followed me whenever he went on these different kind of locations for water bodies for fishing and all uh, the old fear came to him it ruined my fishing trips means ruin means destroy so this fear had destroyed his hobbies you can say deprive me of he this fear takes him away from the joy of canoeing boating and fishing dear students these are the three hobbies you can say that william douglas had like one is canoeing boating and swimming and all these three are related to water and he had fear of water so what could he do one option that he should overcome his fear of water or second thing he can forget about these hobbies only two options are there now for today Uh, just carry on i used every way i knew to overcome his fear he tried everything to come over his fear of water but it held me firmly in its grip but whenever he went to the pool or any water bodies the fear would come back finally one october see this is the date one october i decided to get an instructor he hired a coach and learn to swimming he started learning swimming so from 1st of october he decided to learn swimming and he hired an instructor i went to a pool he went to a pool and practiced 5 days a week means monday to friday 5 days a week and hour each day daily 1 hour okay so 5 hour a week the instructor put a belt what is the strategy the instructor used to put a belt around him around him a rope attached to the belt okay went through a pulley pulley that ran on an overhead cable so what the what did the instructor do first he put a belt around douglas then a rope to the belt okay and then it was tied with a pulley he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth so by tying a rope around his waist around his belt the instructor used to practice him by going back and forth by going back and forward back and forth across the pool hour after hour day after day this is the practice every hour every day week after week and every week on each trip across the pool a bit of the panic seized me so whenever he goes into the pool he felt the same pain pain of or horror pain of water phobia each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and i went under some of the old terror returned and my legs froze so whenever uh, the narrator means william douglas felt any percent uh, percentage of uh, fear at that time on the spot the instructor relaxed the rope let him stay for uh, for a long time to feel that old fear it was 3 months before the tension began to slack now he took 3 months okay first three months were invested just to just to be confident in water then he taught me to put my face under water and exhale after three months the instructor taught him how to inhale and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale this is the practice i repeated the exercise hundreds 
ऑफ टाइम्स बिट बाय बिट मींस पॉइंट बाय पॉइंट और पीस बाय पीस आई सेड पार्ट ऑफ द पैनिक दैट सीज्ड मी सो ग्रेजुअली विलियम डगलस वाज एबल टू uh able to feel able to put away that some percentile of the fear that he had when my head went under water so whenever he did this practice he was able to put this fear gradually out of the mind next he had he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs now next time paddling for weeks for some weeks i did just that at first my legs refused to work in the beginning same thing happened his legs were paralyzed but they gradually relaxed when but as the uh, as he mustered up his confidence he felt relaxed and finally i could command them and gradually with the practice and with the instruction of the instructor uh, the narrator william douglas started commanding his legs so dear students that's all for today the next remaining part in next video we will read okay till then do reading and take care thank you have a good day